What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters, man. Let's get right off into this, man. So, Summer Madness 8 is over now. It was a good card for the most part, man. Let's get off into who was the champion of the night. Who was the champion of the night? Now, I'm going to first throw an honorable mention. Paste could be in the conversation, a champion of the night. Paste, man, was definitely very entertaining, man. I mean, laid back, poised, man. Man, I'm talking about Paste was, Paste was amazing last night, man, on that stage, man. Funny, man. Real. I'm talking about, I liked it everything about him, man. I liked it everything about him, man. No doubt. No doubt at all, man. Um, he actually was swagging on rock. That was crazy. That dude had on a, a leopard cheetah fur coat. <laughs> that was funny, man. It looked like some Genghis Khan type, type gorilla pimping type stuff. That was funny, man. But he did good, man. I was impressed, man. Very entertained by him all three rounds, man. I liked his angles and everything he did, man. I definitely could have him in the conversation as an honorable mention. Um, John John the Don, same thing. I could have him in that that conversation. I really believe that uh, he wanted it. He came forward. He wanted it, man. He was amped up, fired up. He did his thing, man. All three rounds, I thought he was solid and consistent. He was locked in, man. John John, man, I was definitely impressed with him. But for me, the champion of the night for me, it's Arsenal, man. Arsenal. I was very, very, very impressed with Arsenal. Round two, that brother went in overdrive. That dude bought out, you talking about it. He lived up to his name. That brother bought out so much ammunition. That brother had an arsenal and released the flurry on New Jersey twerk. I'm talking about to the point they had to really literally grab this man to shut this dude up. This dude was on a rapid tear, man. I'm talking about a rapid tear. A lyrical assault. I'm talking about Man, bought it to him, wasn't scared, wasn't intimidated. You want to fight? Let's fight, little dude. Let's dance. I'm the king of Jersey. You want to be the king of Jersey? You want to move me out of the way? Guess what? I'm not going to make it easy for you, so you better be on the top of your game because you definitely in for a fight, and I ain't no pushover. And that brother delivered, man. That brother delivered. He had everything, man. But that lyrical assault, man, he put on that boy, man. I'm talking about even Twerp had to just sit there and just like. I'm talking about, man, if he had a bulletproof vest on, man, that brother got hit from head to toe, man. I'm talking about ripped off his chest, man. And I was impressed that Arsenal came very well prepared, that he could remember all those bars like that. And being a rapid tear and, and releasing a flurry, a flurry like that, man. The personals was on fire. The setups and things was on fire. Um, I was impressed, man. I was impressed. Because we know Arsenal is known for letting go rounds. But when that dude is in his bag, it's hard for you to beat him, man. It's hard for you to beat him. And he one of the most complete all-around battle rappers ever to bless the battle rap platform. This dude got performance, uh, aggression. The brother got jokes, personals, disrespect. He very witty. He got bars and angles. He even dressed. He he even know how he know he putting he know he putting on the show. He know he putting on a show, man. So he know how to entertain. I'm talking about whether he got home court advantage or on the road, man. Man, I got to give it up to that brother, man. I got to give it up to that brother Arsenal, man. That brother Arsenal did his thing, man. And he actually 
defended his reputation of who he is, the state of Jersey. He defended everything that New Jersey twerk wanted to take from him and was successful in defending that. New Jersey twerk told him, I don't got to battle everybody in Jersey because you the king of Jersey. And I know that. That's a fact. And since I know that and it's a fact, once I beat you, I'm not battling nobody else from Jersey because I beat the best. Arsenal said, you know what? I know. And I know what you're saying is true. And this is one of the reasons why I want to battle you. Because I want you to understand and know Everything I worked for, all these years that I put in to get the respect as not only a battle rapper, but for Jersey to be respected as a place where good talent is at when it comes to this, I'm not going to let you take it just because you on the rise. I'm not going to let you take it because you fresh. I'm not going to let you take it. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm not going to let you have it. You're going to have to fight me for it. And guess what? If you're thinking I'm not going to come prepared, if you're thinking I'm not going to fight, you dead wrong. You are going to be in a fight because everything I built and worked for, you can't have. You can't have. It may not mean nothing to you, but it means something to me. And because it means something to me, you're going to be in a fight of your life. And Arsenal put a lyrical assault on that boy. I never seen nobody put on him yet. Yet. And I, got to, and I got to commend Arsenal on that. It meant something to that boy. And he came with it. He didn't have to do that, man. Arsenal was in his bag. And I salute that brother. Congratulations to Arsenal, man. Arsenal the rebel. The king of Jersey. The king of Jersey. King of Jersey. He deserved it. He deserved it. That's how he's supposed to be. Shouts out to Arsenal the rebel. You dub league. That was a good battle between New Jersey Twerk and Arsenal. New Jersey Twerk, which is outclass, man. Outclass. And Arsenal showed him the difference and let it be known why it's levels in this. Why it's levels in this. And you saw it clear. Yeah, you good, but you still got a lot more to learn. You haven't reached the point, New Jersey Twerk, that in battle rap, that in battle rap, before you can get complacent and relaxed and where you at, you got to at least bleed. You got to at least bleed. You got to at least put in work. And you ain't put in enough. And you haven't bled enough. And you haven't even sacrificed. You haven't even sacrificed to the point where you respect it. You haven't sacrificed to the point where you respect it. And that's what I like about Arsenal. He put it all on the line so that you can know. You can't so easily have it. And this your boy Battle Truth. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Congratulations to Arsenal the Rebel for being champion of the night. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours.